Hey guys, Dan the Wolfman for ProMMANow.com with the uh, always magical and on fire Cub Swanson. How's it going, sir? Uh, I can't complain. Just uh, trying not to get fat. Well, first and foremost here, you're at RFA, which is going to be televised on Access TV, supporting your brother who's fighting, right? Yeah, my brother's uh, up and comer. He's my older brother, but uh, he's smaller than me. How long ago did he pick up the MMA trade? Uh, maybe like five, six years ago now. About half the time I've been doing it. Okay. Did he have any kind of wrestling background or boxing background or anything like that? No, we just both played soccer our whole lives. You've been, you've been on fire. What is it, four or five straight? Five straight? Uh, five wins, yeah. Five straight, right? Yeah, that doesn't five. happen too often in the UFC. Uh, I guess not. But it's pretty difficult, but I've been lucky enough to uh, be on a roll. Well, you know, they've been posting stuff up even on, on Fuel TV on the After Fight special. Um, you know, vo the voting and everything, uh, who get, who should get the next title shot. I've been hyping you on the underground. I think you've been on, on, on such great performances, not just the wins, but the performances that I, I've been rooting for you to get it. So hopefully the fans will support it, right? Yeah, that's why I've been asking them. Just, you know, I don't even, even if you don't think I deserve it, whatever, like just speak up about it because it uh, is bringing attention to our div our division. And uh, I'm a fan of everybody in, the, in my division, but uh, I know in my heart I feel like I deserve it so just if you if you're back me up speak about it if you don't speak about it I don't care uh, I just want to see good fights happen in my division well your Dennis Seaver fight went exactly like I posted a word on the underground and the third round and all that so I, I thought that was pretty cool and um, let me talk to you about some of your techniques you know I'm gonna give your secrets away I put the video out you know you threw the, I love the overhand the fake overhand right to the delayed high kick is that something you've been working on and used in the fight uh yeah it's something I work on, but uh, maybe maybe I'm not that slick. Maybe it just comes to me it in just the fight. Happens. Yeah, oh, come just on, uh, some, someone's working. Is that Winkle John? Fake punches to uh, to kicks. Uh, we all we all feed off of each other. Uh, Wink brings in a, a lot of new game plans, and uh, I come up with some stuff. My boxing coach, Joel Diaz, uh, Mike Valley, have uh, been helping me out. He even got to work with uh, Mark Ruas. So, I mean, I got a lot of good guys helping me out. So Fake I left it. hook to left liver kick? Yeah, so, some old school stuff. You did something else crazy. What was it? I don't know. You did another crazy one the next, uh, I think, I guess, Seaver. You did, I don't know. You went low and you came up high with a kick. You went low with a punch or yeah. something and came well, up high Well, because Seaver, he, he dipped so hard to his, uh, his right side. So I wanted him to, like, really bring his arm down and, and think I was going for a body shot and then throw a head kick. I didn't sell it good enough, and I should have. Uh, in my mind, I played it out a bunch of times, and I knocked him out with that kick, and it didn't happen like that, so I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> now, uh, who's, who's your great boxing friend that you work with? Uh, Tim Bradley. Okay, of course. And um, what do you think the Cub Swanson of today has to make things different? If you, if you, Let's say Jose Aldo is still champion, and you get a Jose Aldo fight. What do you think the difference is going to be, and how do you see that going? I'm just a more mature fighter. I've learned a lot. I've learned from that fight. I've learned from all my losses. And, uh, you know, I, I know I'm just as tough as I was back then. I work just as hard, but I'm a lot smarter, and I'm a lot more rounded. So, Is it really the confidence? I mean, you, you seem like you, you, just, you just know you're on. I mean, you've been, you've been on. Your performances have been great. Yeah, I mean, the confidence is huge, and, and that's really helped me. And uh, really, people don't understand is if you're a, like a one- or two-trick pony, then you're going to master your skill within a few years. Mm -hmm. If you're somebody who comes with, with, you know, a huge set of skills and you work on so many different things, then it takes you a long time to really master that craft. And I feel like that's, that's what happened with me. Mm -hmm. I had so many uh, tricks and things that I was trying to pull off and I could never put it together. And now... I, I, I'm putting it together and it flows and it's fun and I just uh, enjoy going out there and putting on a show for the fans. That's cool. You, do you think having the fun is what's making these performances great? You're kind of just having an open game? Yeah, yeah, because you know, I, I know when I step in the cage that I'm, I'm the one who deserves to win and that person doesn't deserve to be in there with me. That's the mindset I have. And, uh, and I just want to show them how foolish they are for stepping in there with me. And I'm not trying to be cocky. That's just my mindset when I'm in there. So, so how, do you, how do you think guys will support, um, how do you, think guys will support uh, you, know, you getting to that title shot? Maybe on the underground forum? Is it like Chael Sonnen says? Do you, uh, do you lurk? Yeah, I lurk. Uh, I'm on there. I read. Who else lurks? Julie Kezzy says she lurks the other ground. What about, who else in the Greg Jackson, Winkle John camp uh, be checking out the underground? Uh, I, I really don't know because I really don't talk about it. The thing is, I stay off of them mostly because there's too many haters, man. There's too much hate, and uh, I get enough of it on Twitter and, and all that stuff, so 
Is there like a hashtag to support uh, Cub Swanson for title shot kind of thing we got set up yet? What do you think we should do for that? Like, so Twitter, let's get a Twitter campaign going with all the fans out there. I think they were doing it right after the, uh, his fight, uh, Aldo Swanson. Nice. Okay. Well, guys, uh, you know, I appreciate it. Go to promomainnow.com for all your information. Do you got a website, Twitter you want to plug? Uh, CubSwanson.com. Uh, my Twitter is CubSwanson. My Instagram is CubSwanson. It's all fairly easy. It's pretty uh, easy. I got the Killer Cub shirts on my website. Uh, those are a big hit, so go out and get one. Support me. All right, guys, and support me as well at Dan the Wolfman 1 on YouTube. Please subscribe, and on Twitter you can hit me up at Dan the Wolfman. Thanks.